Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me today for a bit of a transformation. Now there's not a lot of sewing going on in this transformation. There's been a little bit because there's been scenes that needed reinforcing etc. But I'm going to put a little clip in first of how the jumpsuit looked when I bought it. So let's take a look at that video first. Now I also picked this up for my eldest daughter page and I'd seen it in the shop and this was from Barnardo's. And this is the only thing I bought from this shop. But I saw it and I thought, that would be lovely for holiday. It's like a uh, play suit with trousers on. It's got a sheared backing. And then on the front, it's got like this drawstring effect where you, you've got this, what you tie around your neck to make it alter neck. So you can see from this, guys, that we've actually turned it into a two-piece set. What I did was I cut this off and left an inch because the plan was to do a small turn up on that and then same with the waist i've only left that was an inch but i've cut it down a bit since she made the decision to leave it raw and i'd done it so that i was just going to overlock it and then i was going to tuck it back and stitch it in the same line that's going around the trousers there so it would have been overlocked on the inside nice and neat but when she tried the trousers on and she saw this fraying, straight away she said to me, I love how that looked, Mum. Can we leave it raw? Of course we can. Now on the top, it had got a strap that come round here that came up round the neck and she didn't like that from the start. So what I've done there is I've just pulled the strap in and stitched the strap in that's in it, left that inside, that means trimming off, but I've just stitched that in place so that you've got this pucker in detail because to take that out would have opened this bust area up. So again, stitched, cut it off. She's got that nice and small. And then I cut this down a little bit, but then she's once again, this fraying leaving on it. Now, let me just show you the hems. Now on the trouser hem, that is frayed as well. And again, we're leaving this raw. Now, when you can see the back hanging down, the bottom's all level. It's just that on the waist, I've pulled it down at the back so you can actually see how the waist is. And she's got these, she's like five foot ten hour page. So these are like three quarter trousers on them because she didn't want them full length. She wanted them cropped. So that's what we've got with the hems. But on the waist here, there'll be a bigger gap than this on Paige's body because like I said, she is tall. But that, I just think, does look pretty rugged and out there, isn't it? So you've got that bit there again that's not being edged. So the only sewing that I've done is this bit on the bust and then on the seams, which is the top of the leg and the bottom of the leg, I've just reinforced those seams that because it's being cut off, it's not going to come undone. So this is how it's turned out, guys, and it does look pretty cute on it. When they tried it on, both my daughters, neither of them liked it as a jumpsuit, and it was Paige who said, well, oh, well, our Katie, actually, our Katie says, could we make it into a twin set? So Paige basically said, uh, I'll have it as a top. She did initially want shorts, but then she says, can we make it trousers, but have the trousers three quarters? Once she tried the trousers on and loved the waist with the frayedness, she said, can we have all the others raw? So I hope you've enjoyed this little share, guys. Like I say, it's not really a make, it's a transformation, but a great transformation, which took very little effort to do. So thanks for joining me, guys. Take care for now. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.